welcome back to my channel okay so this is my first unboxing video i am unboxing a gucci bag that i got from fashionfile.com so fashion file is a online consignment store a consignment store is a place where you can buy um luxury goods usually luxury at a fraction of the price um and the reason why they're a fraction of the price is because they're often pre-loved or pre-owned um, I don't remember how I came across Fashion Files website, but I've been shopping consignment stores for years. Um, I actually live in Atlanta and we have some of the best consignment stores out there. But um, because my schedule is crazy and I'm in and out of town all the time, um, my schedule doesn't always work with store hours. So uh, fast forward, I find Fashion File and uh, at first I was a little skeptical because I've, I've never shopped an online consignment store or bought any luxury goods offline. I always buy it in person. I started out by doing my research on Fashion File. Um, you know, I, I looked at many reviews and they had a ton of good reviews. Um, they had a large inventory, which was amazing. Uh, I think they're actually California based. And I know they have like actual storefronts that you can actually go in and shop. Um, I know there's one in San Diego. Uh, there's one in San Francisco too, because I know I almost went to that one, but they told me that um, I would have to pay the California state taxes if I would have bought in store. And I wasn't with that at all, because the taxes out here in San Francisco, well, California are ridiculous. Um, and I think they'll be opening one in New York soon, if it's not in New York yet. So because I was hesitant, um, I checked their website like weekly for months. And I knew I wanted to purchase something, but um, I knew I wanted a bag for sure. But um, I didn't want to get something too expensive because I never shopped with them before. Um, but at the same time, I didn't just want to be buying something that I knew I wasn't going to wear. So, so because I was skeptical, um, I gave myself a $500 spending limit. Now, $500 to some is a lot. For me, it is a lot too. But um, I felt like that was a good price point where it wasn't too much. That way, if I didn't like it and I had to send it back, it wasn't hurting my pockets or my budget, you know, waiting to get that money back. But still at that price point, they still had like a lot of like nice bags and I knew I wanted to get a bag. So um, I joined the mailing list hoping that they would send me a coupon. It never happened. I happened to stumble across a section on their site called Last Call. So that's where I found my beautiful <laughs> Gucci Hobo. So, um, and it was an older style. So yeah, looking at the pictures, um, I could tell that it had been misshaped a little bit and there was a little dirt under here. But overall, I could tell that it had been taken care of very well. It's very clean, especially considering that it's such a light neutral color. Um, and I knew that this is something that I wanted. So I think it was originally about $4.95 and when I saw it, it had been marked down to about 375 or so. Uh, I was like, okay, I know I want that back, but I don't wanna pay more than $300 for it. So I would watch it all day, every day, like on the hour, like checking it to see if it went down, checking some more to see if it went down. And I was like so paranoid, because I remember even when it got like down to like 320, I was like, ooh, ugh. like, I don't wanna lose this bag. I could pay 320, but I just, I don't want to lose it now. Um, at some point, I even remember calling their showroom. I think my bag was located in the San Francisco showroom. And um, I called, and at the time, there wasn't a stylist available that could help me, but they're like, okay, they took my information. We'll give you a call back. Less than an hour, I got a call back. The stylist was super nice. They went and pulled the bag. They gave me their honest opinion about it. They told me, like, oh, yeah, it's a little dirt on the bottom, but, um, you know, it's minor. You know, I asked them why they didn't why they didn't clean it before they put it online. And they're like, well, you know, we sell the bags the way they come in. And she's like, well, honestly, like, I think 
if you really want it. It's a good bag, and even with it being a little dirty, I think you should be able to clean it easily. Um, then she mentioned that they had a Lilway, and I was like, wow. Now, she explained the Lilway to me, you know, she was like, well, you know, if you put on Lilway and decide you don't want to return it, you lose a portion of what you put down, but, you know, if you love it, then you've just, you had time to pay on it, and I think the Lilway was, like, for 60 days. So, um... I waited, I could have bought it outright, but I decided, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna get the full fashion file experience. I waited till it got down to $310, um, which again, I'm at this point like crazy obsessed about this bag. I'm checking it every five minutes. So um, I went on and put it on that way. So I had to put down like a small percentage and I think after the initial payment, I just made like two more payments. Um, and it was cool because no one called me, nobody was bothering me about the railway. It was just I occasionally get an email like, you know, you have this many days left to pay it off. So, and I waited out the full 60 days. Um, it's $310, free shipping. The railway was free, no extra money on it. If you paid it off within the 60 days, then um, there's no interest or anything. You don't lose any money. Um, and I really just couldn't be happier. So if you want to see me unbox this beautiful bag, and by the way, their packaging was beautiful. Prettiest packaging that I've had um, ordering from an online store. Um, but yeah, stay tuned for the unboxing of my Gucci Hobo bag from Fashion File. to see how I clean, sealed, and moisturize my new bag. Stay tuned.